Hey there, Excel users. Would you like to have a single Excel function that can automatically sum, count, or average your color cells in any range of your choice, and it recalculates automatically when your cell color changes? Well, you've come to the right place here at Excel Power Tips. So basically, we've got a group of cells here, and some of them are colored. And what we want to do is, depending upon what the color of the cell is, either green, yellow, or red, or blue, we want to either sum them count them or average them. So for example, for the green cells, if we highlight the green cells in this group of cells in this range, you've got four there, you've got a two there, you've got a four there, and you've got a two there. So that comes to a total of four cells. The average is three and the sum is 12. Uh, so what we want to do is we want to create a, a dynamic function, an Excel function uh, that does the calculations for you. Uh, everything has to be done in one place, in one function. So, and it's multi-purpose, so it does a sum, count, and average. So we're going to create a Excel custom function called Calculate by Color, and it's going to have three parameters. My color cell, my range, and my action. My color cell is this cell here, for example. Uh, so that's going to be the test uh, color, uh, where each of the cells within the input range is going to be tested against. So my range is the input range. That's uh, this group of cells here. And then the final one is my action. So uh, each the function is going to be looking at every cell uh, within this input range, and and it checks to see what color um, the each of the cells are. And if it finds a match, so for example this one, if it finds a match, the color of this cell within the this range matches the, the my color cell. What do you want to do? Uh, so in this case, um, it could be either sum, count, or average. So I've got an example here where the, the Michael cell is F3, that's F3 there. And then you've got the input range A2 to D9, that's this input range there. And the action is a sum. And so by doing it this way, uh, you can copy the formulas across and then copy the formulas down. Um, and then you can get it all to work, yeah, all in one go, uh, automatically. So to create the Excel function, calculate by color, these are the steps that you need to take. So from the Excel menu, you click on the Developer tab, then you click on Visual Basic, the button uh, on the left, or from the keyboard Alt F11, the two keys together. Then um, when the VBA editor appears, uh, from the top left-hand side, click on the This Workbook object, and then you right-click, and then you click on Insert, and then you choose Module. That insert the standard module called Module 1. And then the actual function, um, which is available in the description and also you can download it. So once you've downloaded it or copied it, you just paste it into this module. Then you uh, either minimize this window or you can close it. So I'm going to minimize it. So now that we've set up our brand new Excel function, we can start using it. So for the cell where you want the calculation by color to appear, uh, you click on that cell and then in the formula bar, we click on the insert function, this FX button here. Then in the insert function dialog box, what we do is we select the category. So from this drop down, we click on user defined. There's only one user defined uh, function which we created in this Excel workbook, calculate by color. And it also shows you the, the three parameters my color cell, my range, and my action, which we uh, discussed earlier. Click on OK. So it's going to be expecting three parameters. So my color cell. And we click on this cell here, that's going to be the test cell. And then the my input range is going to be the input range here, uh, which we can also uh, lock by pressing F4. And then the final argument is a my action, so we want it to sum. So we could do a sum here, which is also which is fine, but to make it more dynamic, we can just refer to the, the cell. Um, contents in cell G2 and what that will do is it will pick up the, the action from the contents of the cell and so in this case uh, we want to keep the row absolute um, so we keep the row absolute and the column uh, relative and then for the my color cell um, we want to keep the uh, we want to keep the column absolute the row relative click on OK and we copy the formula down and then we copy the formula across. 
Great, we got some results. So before we can test it to make sure it works, um, you notice in cell A2, uh, we've got a two decimal place number. So for the sum for uh, yellows, I'm going to increase the decimal places to two. And then for average, uh, you could have a whole number average value or uh, in decimal. So I'm going to also increase the, the decimals to two. Uh, let's test the, the green first. So uh, we've got a sum of 12. So we manually total up the, the greens. We've got four there, two there, two there, and then you've got four there. So the, the bar, the task bar at the bottom says that we've got a uh, sum of 12, which matches. And we've got a count of four, which matches, and an average of three, which matches, which is great. Let's do the yellows now. So we've got this cell there, this cell there, that one, that one, that one, and that one. So here we've got a, we've got six, a count of six, which is matching. And uh, we've got a total of 32.35, which is again matching and an average of 5.39, which is also matching, which is great. So we can assume then that the red and the blues, they are also working. So uh, we can also use the same formula uh, to uh, count the, well, do the calculation for some count and average for cells that don't have any color. So because those cells that don't have any color is a color in itself. So we just copy that formula, paste it in here. And so for the, the non color cells, it's also working out the, the sum and the count and the average. And uh, so that should be correct. So, just to make sure that it's also working, um, I'm just going to highlight each of the non color cells and see if the total of 53 matches. Yep, yeah, you've got 53 there, and you've got a count of 14 there, and an average of 3.79. Fantastic. So, the last thing we can do is um, rather than have, well, just having the calculation of each of the colors, we can do an all colors uh, calculation. In this case, we don't need to use the, the custom function. All we need to do is just use a simple sum formula and then just sum the, the calculations, individual calculations for the color cells. And then we can copy it to the count. And then for the average, it's going to be the sum divided by the count. So there you go, you got the, the calculation for some count and average uh, for each of the colors and then you've also got it for the non-colors and you've also got it for all the colors as well. The final piece of work that we need to do to make the new Excel function respond to new colors on the worksheet for the recalculation is we need to go into the developer tab again and go back into Visual Basic and then for the sheet that contains the cell colors, we we'll click on that. And for the two drop downs, we click on the first drop down and select worksheet. And then for the second drop down, we click on the event called change. Uh, the selection change event, we delete that. And then for the worksheet change event, we type in application dot calculate. We close the VBA window and let's test it now. So we're going to introduce new color cells. So we're going to be introducing cell B2 as a new green color cell. So we just introduce uh, that cell as a new green color cell. So we color that. And you can see that the color has changed to green uh, for some count and average. Great. Let's do another one. Uh, let's do for cell D4. Uh, we're going to make that into a blue cell. Again, it's recalculated for some count and average for the blues. So yes, the, the Excel function, calculate by color, is working perfectly. And it does uh, all uh, functions for some count in average, all in one go. Thanks for watching, and watch out for my next video.